Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. Uh, strange video this one. It's a public service announcement just to make sure the news gets out there. I know not everybody is following on Discord and stuff with a lot of the developers. You're busy doing your own thing and <laughs> trying to run your games and set them up. Um, if you use the add-on module warp gate, stop. Just stop. Simple as that. So um, the warp gate has been removed. It is not an active module anymore. And the reason why is there has been identified some significant issues with using warp gate and data loss. So you could have some serious problems with your game using it. Um, there are some data vulnerabilities in it. I don't have the technical detail. I don't need to know because this is coming from Moto Moto. It's coming from Posni. It's coming from Chris. Uh, it's coming from the people who know what they're talking about, Mr. Primate. They are all sharing the same message. They know what they're talking about. So if you are using Warpgate at all, uninstall it, get rid of it. If you're still on version 11, you might find that obviously it's going to interfere with some of your automations and stuff. Um, there is some rumors about certain versions of Warpgate being still okay. But the general rule is like just get rid of it don't use it it has been removed you can no longer install it um it's been a bit of controversy around warp gate and that is not to point the finger at the developer it's really really not um but their people have cloned it and have released it and shared it and things like that um so if you have warp gate installed regardless of where you got it from get rid of it keep yourself safe if you're in version 11, you know, it's to do with the D&D uh, game engine specifically and issues with that. It's to do with the 3.2 enchantment effects. Um, but regardless of what version you're on, you should get rid of it. If you are on version 12, there has never been released a version of Warpgate for version 12. So you shouldn't be able to get it anyway. If you've got it, the chances are you've got that through some other method and you've got a cloned version, which is even more dangerous. Get rid of that. Um, just keep yourself safe, guys. Get rid of that Warpgate. Um, uh, so uh, Moto Moto here in big bold letters. You should never use Warpgate in version 12. Um, because it's it doesn't exist um, just having a quick scroll through here is there anything specific people are talking about that you guys need to know um, so Chris's pre-made um, has previously relied on warp gate but that's no longer the case um, getting rid of all relevance and reliance on warp gate that was a project that Chris was doing anyway which is great um, just checking if there's anything particular pertinent that will add to this um, yeah so this is specifically the D&D 5e um, versions of the game so if you're running something else the chances are you're not using warp gate anyway um, but yeah there's there's a fair bit of information it's still a little bit muddy exactly what's going on but the, basically get rid of warp gate just do it back up your uh, back up your games, get rid of warp gate. It might break some of your automation stuff, but it's better than your entire game being wrecked, you losing data, um, having vulnerabilities and things like that. So, uh, yeah, bit of a weird one, huh? Um, but I thought it was really important if you, you know, for you guys to know that. Um, and it is an issue and it is being dealt with. And when I say it's being dealt with, what it means is, especially for version 12, what the modders are doing, and they're doing it anyway generally speaking is they're trying to build in those functions into their own modules while they're relying on too many supporting modules where they can um, so obviously they're one of the things they're doing is eliminating the need for warp gate they're building it into their own modules so as we move forward those modules should be a bit more compact we won't have install this module and his eight other supporting ones that you need which obviously creates problems with updating anyway and compatibility it just makes it more challenging so they are trying to streamline the whole thing which is brilliant and again please do not take this out on those mod developers especially the poor chap who's who's <laughs> who has been looking after warp gate it's not his fault it's a compatibility issue with the foundry with the game engine and the module all right so that's why it's been removed to keep everybody safe just get rid of right i'm gonna stop rambling thank you very much for listening um you know obviously we just have to wait for uh, for alternative fixes to come in place uh, you'll just have to suffer with it for now thank you very much take care see you in the next one